In Russia, future teachers are taught to think correctly from the first days of training, that is, as propaganda narratives dictate. On September the 9th, in Belgorod State University, a group of first-year students was taken off their classes without explanation and led to a conversation. The students command to the Doxa magazine. The teachers forbade them from leaving the ideological lecture. A student of the Belgorod State University told us about several theses that were voiced at the event. Not a single Ukrainian nationalist was Ukrainian by nationality. Lenin invented Ukraine and Ukrainians because he wanted to please the communists living there. The main mistake of the USSR during the division of Poland was the fact that they did not overthrow the Polish magnates living in the territories they received. From an anonymous student comment to the Doxa magazine. All students from the Penza University of Architecture were sent a file for a mandatory reading. There was a digest of the Kremlin propaganda on five pages. Everything was in the document. The thesis about the revolution of dignity of 2014, which the Kremlin calls a coup d'état, and about the danger of NATO expansion, about the friendship of peoples and the so-called special operation, and of course about the sanctions that make Russia better and stronger. You can pass. Do you see my registration? Can I pass? You cannot. On September the 11th, the single voting day ended in Russia during which the heads of the republics and deputies of local city councils and administrations were elected. Human rights activists of the Network Freedoms Organization reported 130 cases of pressure on the remaining independent candidates. 24 of them were accused in administrative and criminal cases after that. Seven candidates were completely deprived of the right to be elected due to accusations of extremist activities. The legislative base is so robbery in its wording that anything can fall under them. Moreover, even if something does not fall under the wording, the authorities can always give a damn about the laws. If there was a person, there would be an article. In Kazan, a court confiscated the international passport of a cancer-stricken journalist Maria Yudkevich just because she was a witness in a terrorist case. Earlier in social networks, she commented on a video in which the Russian ambassador was poured with paint in Poland. Without a passport, Yudkevich cannot continue emergency treatment. Siberia Realities collected a compilation of the most absurd accusations under the article on discrediting the Russian army. So in Tumen, a woman was fined 40,000 rubles for a green ribbon on her backpack. Yuri Sokhnev from the Kemerovo region paid the same amount because he hung a blue and yellow towel to dry on the balcony. Zahar Zakurdaev in the Omsk region said at a doctor's appointment that Russian soldiers commit war crimes, and then he paid 30,000 for his words. At some point, the government will lose the competition, the struggle for the minds of citizens, because it can't do anything more, because it doesn't carry any culture, doesn't carry any ideology. Yes, it's just the power of war criminals, bandits and crooks. According to the Russian human rights organization OVD Info, more than 16,000 Russians have been detained for anti-war sentiment, and 14 criminal trials will take place next week. There are more than 170 so-called foreign agents on the list of the Russian Ministry of Justice, and according to the Kremlin, the subversive activities of 20 of them were allegedly financed by Ukraine. Reported by Pavel Stelmach, Yulia Bezborodko, UATV News.